Hi everyone, this is Ive, and today I want to show you how to geocode with MapMit Pro Pro 64-bit using Spectrum On Demand. As you can see, I have a sample table open um, that contains a list of addresses, but it doesn't contain any spatial data. What we can use is the Spectrum On Demand service to add the spatial data um, to this information. To do this, we can click on the Spatial tab, Geocode, and Geocode using Server. This will bring up the geocode using server dialog box. The first thing we need to do is select our geocoding server. Um, you should have this set up already. Um, if you haven't, you can click on servers and add. Uh, and then if you consult your welcome letter to Spectrum On Demand, you will find your service URL. Um, click test URL once you've entered this to make sure it's valid. This will bring up the description. Then you've got type of service, you need to select Invincer and you need to enter your user ID and your password and once that's all entered uh, press test URL and that will make sure that's okay for you. Once that's in the list of the geocoding servers then it will appear in this drop down list. You then need to select the table that you wish to geocode uh, mine's called usaddr underscore ep um, and I can select that here uh, then it asks where do you want to store the results. You can update the original table or you can insert into a new table. I'm just going to pop mine into a new table. And then you've got the geocode type here. Do you want to geocode it to the street level, the postal centroid level or the geographic centroid level? Um, and you also need to specify the country um, that the addresses are in. To do this you click on get countries. This will populate this list for you by checking with the server um, and then we need to select the correct country. In this case these are based in America so I'm going to select USA and then we need to click next. It then asks where do we want to uh, create a new table um, and do we want to create a new map or, or a new browser. I'm going to create a new map window so we can see the points displayed in the window. Um, it says the table structure. What table structure do you want to use for the new table with the geocoded results? I'm going to base mine on my existing table um, as I just want to add in the spatial information to the existing table. Then I click create. Uh, I'm going to keep all these as defaults from the original table, but you can uh, change these if you like. Which happy with that? Click create. And that's going to prompt you where to save it. I'm going to call mine geocoded addresses and click save. And that brings us to the geocode properties dialog box. Um, so it's just going to ask us um, where is the address and address line 2 and the city and the state and the postal or zip code um, in the actual table. So this will look into your table and give you a list of options. I'm quite happy with the the defaults here but you may need to change yours according to your input table. You then have the output options again it will say what columns you want to pop these in so I'm going to just leave those as the defaults. Um, with the geocoding you can say do you want interactive so it's going to prompt you every time that you geocode um, for each candidate and make you um, make a selection as to which candidate you want to choose. What you can do is do automatic, uh, which is obviously quicker. Um, and you can say do not match if there's a multiple match for the same candidate, um, or you can set the first match. Uh, I'm just going to set the first one. Under common options, you can choose to acquire an exact match on the address number, the street name, the city town name, and the postal code. Uh, it's up to you for the geocoding options. I'm not going to select those. Um, you also got option if it doesn't find a match. If you want to fall back to the postal code centroid or the geographic centroid, um, I'm going to leave those as default. You can change the maximum number of candidates uh, if you wanted to. As I've said, choose the first match. This is greyed out, um, but you could, if you didn't select that option, then select the number of candidates to return. Uh, you can also change the symbol of the each point when it's created, but I'm going to leave mine as the default. In the advanced output, you can select a key column here in the input table and then match that with the output table column. And then this will be able to uh, join tables later on, the input and the output table. Once you're happy with the options, click Geocode. 
and we see we've got 21 of 27 geocoders. Now if we right click and choose view entire layer, you can see the points are now displayed on the map. Just to give that um, a little more clarity, I'm just going to open the um, Bing aerial maps. As you can see, now we've got them all displayed. So that's how you can geocode with MapInfo Pro 64-bit using Spectrum On Demand. Thanks for watching.